In the United States today, around 2% of the nation's dairy cows are milked using robotic systems. In Canada, that figure is around 15%. And if all trends hold true, the U.S. dairy business will head in that direction too. That's according to Bill Verbort, General Manager for Agritech Analytics, the dairy records processing center owned by Holstein Association USA. There is a plethora of data that is provided by these robotic systems, and our challenge is to harvest some of this data and turn it into useful information for the, for the producer and the industry. TriStar AMR, released by Holstein Association USA earlier this year, offers producers a way to connect data collected by robotic milking systems with official Holstein pedigrees. As we talk about TriStar AMR, I think what's important to know for producers is, number one, we can get that data onto a Holstein pedigree, marking it, labeling it as, as where it's coming from, uh, i.e. the AMR TriStar. Um, secondly, the cost is considerably less, but as to the tune of about 10% of what traditional DHI testing would be. And thirdly, we can do this with very little effort on the part of the producer. My brother asked me, you know, Mac, when are we going to test, test again? You know, why did we stop testing? I said, Zach, we've been testing for two months now. We've tested twice already. And uh, because it's, it's truly that simple, they just take all the information off of the computer. That's Mac Drees, a third generation dairy farmer from northern Wisconsin. His family transitioned to robotics about three years ago, and he says they've benefited from having weekly production averages for each cow. We are utilizing technology when we, when we do that. And I think that to me is, is the future of the dairy industry is not only being efficient, you know, being able to make the best calculated decision possible with all the information that you have and all the data given to you. And Agrotech does a really good job at giving us really great data along with our Laylee robots. More data translates into more knowledge and greater efficiencies, both on the farm and across the overall dairy industry. The collective database that we have is what can benefit all producers. When we start talking about genetics and genomics and all of that sort of thing, we need a, a collective database so that we can be statistically significant in our numbers. And the only way we're going to do that is to bring that data in. And if we can bring that data in, provide a benefit for a producer, again, I think that's where we want to be. Visit HolsteinUSA.com to learn more about the TriStar AMR program. For Holstein Association USA, I'm Miles Ramsey.